about. <laughs> and my bike's still here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Forrest. Oh, the killer got me, man. Carried me inside and locked me in a dumpster. I got a flashlight, but oh, goddamn. I smell smoke. Go to waste disposal. Got it. Okay, I'm here. I. Oh, forest. It's coming down. I gotta go. Oh, God, Murphy. Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. Grab a cassette. We need to play a commercial. We need to play a commercial. Okay. Nope. That's not a commercial. Play me ASAP off air. Is this a commercial? I think this is a commercial. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival yeah. is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. Oh yeah, we I've got totally... the Ooh, Little Miss nope. Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, How do I throw? Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, How do I Corn throw this? Top, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, nope. Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons. I don't remember how to throw things. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, F? balloons for no. sale, beard contest, it horseshoes, e? hayride, hay toss, hey are you there? <gasps> it is our monkeys and ponies, apple bob and firearm, fireworks, funnel oh. cakes, fried oh, dough, wow. seeds, bitten sand, Terrible. Rick and cracker cramming, and cat shop. And fake tattoo face puppets. Jeez Louise, Honey, this commercial. Bay, square dance and story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous. <laughs> Not excited about the flower contest? The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated this to one? the memory of Garrett Have Miley, we listened to that tragically one? taken from us last festival. Hmm. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next free mug would choose. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. You're live on the scream with me. Forrest Nash. Oh, great. Uh, hello. Caller. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest oh, yeah. Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. Um, uh, uh, let's see. Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. No, don't tell yes, me I'm going to get somebody focus. killed right now. Tell me. What's your name? <sighs> Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? I'm thinking it's this. Uh, Carrie. Good, good. Yep, Carrie, there we go. Listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? Is there a back to this? The old murder house. The what? Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. Um, there's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Friendship quiz. This might work. Uh. I don't know. Go to the closet. Okay, I'll. She's gonna get stabbed right now because you freaking audio cue. Oh my god. I don't think we can. Don't move. Carrie. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! 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 
What? Forest! <laughs> you should have seen your face! <laughs> what? 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 Are you... Are you kidding me? Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke, jeez. Wait, isn't that... Jimmy, that wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Boris Nash, what the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. You know he's really out there tonight, Jimmy, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's just whistling night, man. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. Oh, That's, balls. Uh, uh, wait. Oh no. Who, uh, who are you? Oh no, I'm hit! Oh my god! Everyone, get inside! Everyone, run! You bought time, but not much. Forrest, we have to... Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and... Why are they talking like that? Oh, of course. The van. Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. They're talking in the background a lot. <sighs> Jimmy. <sighs> Jimmy did. And I really wish I could remember how to rotate things. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Right. Right. <gasps> we'll figure something out. Between all of you, there there's gotta go. be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. <sighs> if only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern, Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Force, listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... Uh, and... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh, uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things they're just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do. But I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Or else these idiots are going to get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. I do now. Ugh. These damn kids never learn. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right. So <clears throat> Jimmy's dead. Folks, we're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> Oh, uh, this next one is gonna be this one. You'll like this next song. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. <laughs> um, she did. But we're gonna use Peggy this time. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. 
We're gonna use this time to find something else. Yellow's Creek Chili Cook-Off Champion, 1984. We can all agree that the flavor profiles of Chalupa Cabra are the best in town, despite being a pricey option and off offering no deals. The El, Di El Diablo Burrito has the best mouthfeel. <laughs> and those huevos rancheros are just excellent. For the hundredth time, it's an audio medium. People won't get it's excellent. Is excellent, idiot. I feel like I've read that before. I don't know. It's been a while since I have snooped this particular desk. I wonder if we're going to have to do similar things that I've had to guide my callers through. Locked tight. Hmm. So, the whistling man has to know where I am and that I've been helping people, right? He has to know that stuff. In fact, he does know. We know for a fact that he knows because he sent us that tape that said play as soon as possible on air or play me on air or whatever. Uh, do I have all of these? I don't have that. So if I can find that one somewhere. It's probably behind a locked door that we don't have access Jeez, to. Jeez, they really tucked Janie away. Hmm. I think we have everything already that we need in order to help Jeannie or Carrie. Not Genie. Carrie. Okay. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Okay. Carrie's on line one. Well, now I'm doubting it. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? <laughs> Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're oh. deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Uh, it's Heather, for sure. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Uh, well, we're going with Jennifer. Jennifer. <sighs> Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three, getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so it'll probably be easier that way. Then it's part four. This is a very detailed plan. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four, we need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between, who was it again? Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. Hot David. Yeah. Hot David. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, you spend a lot of time running shirtless. Most likely to pass our driving time. Most likely, you got this, hot David. to beat everyone at go Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? Ooh. Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man, but he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against. Car him. crash. Part five. We trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, 
and Cynthia. Uh, most likely to win an Oscar, Lisa or Tammy. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face is Cynthia. So definitely not her. Uh, so is Lisa anywhere else on this? Where it might become a problem? I think we're gonna go with Lisa. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, uh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Uh, Chad, it looks like. So Jimmy was the only one that they trusted to drive, really. Uh, beat everyone at go-karting was Chad, but Scott is also, like, Scott's also there, but he's on the most likely to end up in a car crash one. Chad is not listed there. I'm going with Chad. Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go-karting experience will be great, Chad. Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves, and then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, oh, Harry. <laughs> This is going to go terribly. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Impressive as hell, right? Damn straight. Mm hmm. Waiting for things to happen. Uh. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. If you're just tuning in. We're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Good luck and Godspeed. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter, to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter says go. Keys, Carrie, you need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. He got God. Oh, God. Focus. Breathe. Right. Right. The van keys. We got him. It's up. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. And hot David should be back any second. Was that hot, David? <laughs> You're doing great. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Bait. Get into position. Everybody else, hide. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. Is this going well? I can't. I'm distracted by my basketball. The damn gate swung shut. Uh oh.
What was that? It's a whistling man! Drive! Now! Is Carrie gonna... What is happening? Go. Just go! Just drive! Oh my god. Please, no! No! Carrie? <sighs> he just... He just stared at me. Carrie! Harry? Just stared at me and walked into the woods. What? I don't understand. Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? I can make it home. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. Don't forget Janie. Her friendship quiz saved the day. Told you she was the best. I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Wow. Folks, that was a... Uh, that was a lot. Our thoughts go out to Jimmy's parents in this awful time. For any kids listening in, Please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Oh, no. Not that one. Uh, I don't think we've listened to this. Oh, I did. Okay, so I don't think we could have saved Jimmy. Hey, we had a call come in. Oh, we have a call? God dang it, I didn't even get to listen to the song. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway. Tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky, and I now consider you a friend, my man. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. <laughs> yeah. Back then, things were pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. And sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. Dang it. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh, oh. Uh, hello, Max. Oh. Uh, welcome to the show, oh. Max. Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. 
Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxi loves the rink, man. Is that Happy. another train, Maxi? Maxi loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. <laughs> it sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxi appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. You got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Uh, maybe this one? Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. At a roller rink. Rink you brink. You were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. Hmm. What are the odds? Better take it. Time to turn the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. Gary! Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though we lost Jimmy and I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. They're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't... Why am I... Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did... Why let me go? Maybe he only wanted to hurt the pranksters. I... Maybe. Did he just think everyone was making fun of him? Did he always hate these hazing rituals? I, I mean, if he did, why wait all these years to... Why do this now? These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Hmm. Thanks, Peggy. I wonder if that's hey, uh, what Forrest? got him started in the 50s. Uh, could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. Uh, what song? I won't get to play the whole thing. Last processor. And, uh, thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Oh, I don't get to. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Mm. Well, well, it's something to consider. You don't kill that many people without a reason. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. When I make three shots in a row. Never mind. When I make three shots, period. Oh my god, this is gonna take way longer than I thought. Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna let just more of the song play, really. That's all I'm trying to do. Okay. Um. Yep, let's go let's back. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, <coughs> we could run another segment or... Scratch that, Forrest. We have a caller. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. I did, Peggy. You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Who is this Are again? you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. 
You said you were gonna play it, but you didn't. Oh. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn, and I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? You must really love that song. If you're calling up to ask for it when you know we don't have it. Well, I, I do love it. And I don't want to argue, but you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles what if, from what the, if station. the whistling man is a, a woman second to grab it? Named Don. Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest? Peggy, I'm I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's gonna be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. <sighs> oh my god, it's done. Well, folks. Here's some music for you, while I think things over. The reason, the big reason I think it's done is because the tape that we got sent, this one, was clipped audio from Peggy and I talking on the radio. So that would disguise her voice. Play a record, Forrest. Uh, what do you mean? I don't have one to play. I did like, no. Get out of here. Shoo. I'm gonna throw you. No, I can't throw it. All right. Oh my gosh, I have an idea. No. I better put a record on. I'm trying. Oh. I really thought. But I think this can work. I just have to figure out the angle. Excuse me. Come here. I tried. Okay. I can do this. Dead air is a crime, Forrest. I know. I've been a DJ for three hours. All right, I give up. All right, where's? I know him. You love him. This is Roddy Snatcher with his new single, Final Breath. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about- I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth- All right, I'll do it. You're a good man, Forrest. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. Uh. Wait, wait, our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it, uh... You know, I never thought about it, but yeah, we should talk to Reggie about that later. Mm. Anyway, I'll hold the fort down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. Mm -mm. 189.16. Oh my the God, shut up and give me the key. With me, Peggy. Fire door is not that. There's an exit here. Oh. Oh my god. Somebody got murdered right over there. The beginning of the game. This is. Should I not do this? Curiosity is currently getting the better of me. Oh no, I can't go in there.
You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Out here. In the These open. look important. Hello. And they weren't there before when I got murdered at the beginning of the game. Interesting. Oh my god. Was I supposed to see that? I mean, clearly I was supposed to see that, but was it supposed to be like a per chance? Oh, look at that. Seventy. Here it is. Long ride home. No, no, no. Come on. Okay, so this says A30 on it. It says 70 in the thing. Which means I need two red, two green. Plus 10. Bingo! After being locked out? I didn't know I was locked out. I was gonna find out, I guess. Of course. It locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. I could probably survive that fall. And now I'm in the basement, though? I would like to close that. The whistling man is going to see that. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? No oh, balls. Nope. What was that? What? Okay. This is interesting. No, 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 no. I'm going to get what caught. What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. Huh. There's a key. Basement I'll stairs. just take that. Might be important. Festival of Disaster. Big wheel breaks free. Fifteen inches to help Chuck Blake. Gallows Creek Gallows. High football captain Chuck Blake suffered a marriage. Kim Lee today finally put an end to the long-running car thieving investigation of the festival accident. Has concluded. Arrest investigators claim two engineers that were contracted from the Gallows Creek to be in a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars from here. Infamous offer author gas tell all book diary of sold to a man who won the lottery 14 years ago. Behavior after the engineer responsible for the gallows for seven. I think we're gonna have to come back down here and figure that out at some point. We're awfully calm about what we just found behind a secret door in the janitor's closet thing. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for Jesus Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought Dude. something had happened. Uh yeah. Something did happen. Clive the janitor might be Clive. The murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door lock behind me. Oh, well, they're just going to fade out. I wanted to hear the explanation and see how close I was to the truth, but okay. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell and I don't like standing around down there. There. All right. Oh, now I got to redo my organization. You have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement made by our creepy janitor who you think is the creepy whistling man yep and on the creepy board are the names chuck brody kim walker rebecca allen and aunt williams correct and you think one of these people will be the whistling man's clive's next target that's right and we've got to find them you said there are four locations listed there too the hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. 
Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're gonna have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Okay, I'll see you guys in a few. Um, I'm gonna reorganize this again. Okay, so I've reorganized this, but now I need to figure out how to tie any of these people to a specific state, uh, place. Not station, I was reading gas station at the same time. Okay, hang on. How's Let's it going? Peggy has any help. I need help. Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? And four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Uh, yes. I've already connected all of the notes. I think. Uh, yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Maybe that will help rule out potential targets first. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. Yeah. No problem. I know Kim's dead. Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention. Tuesday the 1st to Sunday the 6th of September. Get started in a career in health and safety. Lead engineer. But where is this? Quiet Ridge Health and Safety. Quiet Ridge. Wait a minute. What date is it? September 3rd. Or 4th. It... It's after midnight, so I would assume it's the fourth, but whatever. This is already going on. So I don't think Aunt Williams will be here. No, wait. Lead engineer response, uh, Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention. Okay, so I don't think he's here. Quiet Ridge, unless Quiet Ridge is a place here, which it shouldn't be, right? Rebecca Allen moved to Manhattan, February 11th. Okay, so she's, she's, just moved to the beginning of this year. Chuck Brody. At the gas station. Chuck Brody would be at the gas station tonight. Because he bought it. I think that's... She moved to Manhattan. He's at a convention. And she's dead. Okay. How's it going? I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Gas station. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Chuck Brody! Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it and- Oh God, it, it's today. The year I finally let myself forget, I- Forget? For, forget what? Forget. No, no, man. I gotta get out of here. Uh... Is this an anniversary of some sort? I... I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck... <laughs> Jeez! It sounds like something blew up! He's using bombs now? I... I... Is Chuck... I don't know. Hang on, we're getting a call. Hello? Chuck? Chuck! Forrest, the whole goddamn gas station's got up. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Oh, yeah. Man. Damn it, that fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. 
I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man, I can't thank you enough, but yeah, I gotta go. Wait, I... Damn it, we lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Careful with this next track, listeners. It's dynamite. Forest. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Is it Dawn? Do you think you've met her before? 